guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to do an after dark clean with me you guys seem to love my previous cleaning video i didn't expect it to do so well so thank you all for all the comments the likes and all the support and hi to all my new subscribers thank you for joining my channel so in today's video i'm going to do a speed clean around the house this is my usual sort of night cleaning routine so we've had dinner I'm just cleaning up the kitchen and then I'm going to do the rest of the house. So starting off in the kitchen and putting everything away back where it goes and um, collecting all the dishes on the side to wash there, um, topping up anything that we need. So we had some chicken and rice so I'm just going to top up the rice container and put that away and then get on with washing the dishes. So if you saw my previous video you would have seen I did a fridge organised cleaning video and I bought these new containers from Ikea to store leftover food. I've got to say using the glass containers are so much better than the plastic. I'm so glad I got rid of the plastic and replaced that with glass. The food stays fresher and they're just long lasting so I would definitely recommend them if you are thinking of changing up your containers. the cooker i'm just going to use my flash spray and give it a quick clean i don't know if this is normal but this glass cooker does get dirty quite a lot um, i knew enough have to clean it after every meal especially when sham is cooking for those of you that don't know my husband is the one who normally cooks in the house he loves cooking i'm not too fond of it i normally make all of isaiah's meals but when it comes to our meals um shami is the chef in this household but this chef makes a lot of mess so he makes me make up for the lack of cooking by cleaning but yeah i just find that i always have to clean this cooker near enough after every meal but there's stains everywhere and it just needs a good clean near enough every day next i'm going to take the washing out today was definitely laundry day this is the second load that i'm taking out now so i'm just going to put that out to dry and then fold what i washed earlier today and then i'm just going to put the third load in so that can wash whilst i clean the rest of the house and i'll put that out before i go to bed i honestly love the way this room smells well actually the whole house smells so amazing on laundry day i use the comfort fabric conditioner in the scent heavenly nectar it smells unreal your clothes smell perfumed and just so fresh it's just my signature scent now um we always get compliments on it whenever we go out well in lockdown we don't go out much but when we used to go out um or if anyone has isaiah around them they always ask what he's wearing it's a really nice scent i would definitely recommend it it smells so perfumey um and so fresh i love it So I store all my laundry products in these glass bottles so I've got the scented beads there, the fabric conditioner and the washing powder. I got these bottles from Poundland and 
at the time i saw them for two pounds and i thought they were a bargain for some reason i thought the similar bottles from ikea are for five pounds so i was telling my husband they're such a bargain i picked a few up and then i realized when i came home that ikea ones are actually two pound fifty and not five pound still saved myself 50p but i'm glad i got these because they're thinner and they just about fit in my cleaning cupboard whereas the ikea ones are um, sort of wider so they wouldn't have fitted so i'm glad i got these but yeah i'm just waiting for the stickers to pop in these bottles and they will be complete moving on to the other side i'm just going to put isaiah's toys away he normally does the tidying and he loves putting everything back in his toy basket but today for some reason he discovered he can throw his toys into this coffee table and he wanted to keep them in there so i'm just transferring them all over into this little toy basket that i have for this area and just taking off his paintings of the day i absolutely love the just add water coloring books I actually bought it for our holiday and I thought it would be less messy to do on the plane but Isaiah seems to really like it so it's still going strong and he just loves getting the brush, adding water and then the colours appear and it's so much better for me because it means less cleaning. <laughs> And then I'm just going to finish off by mopping the floor. So I'm using this flash mop. I find it so convenient to use. In between steaming the tiles, I just use these disposable wipes and they actually give a good quick clean. dishes are dry I'm going to put them away and give the sink a clean with my Sif cream cleaner. to finish off in the kitchen i'm just going to pop all the cloths that i used into the sink add some boiling water and two capfuls of saflora just to get them clean and disinfected and also to make the whole kitchen smell amazing i love waking up to this smell after you've had saflora in the sink overnight and that's the kitchen clean and moving on to the living room, there's not actually much to do in here. I just need to sort out the cushions on the sofa. Sharon's already hoovered earlier today before we put Isaiah to bed because he's a super light sleeper. So I just need to clean the tables. And if you're wondering what that rug's doing in the corner there, we got this from Ikea recently, but I'm not 100% sure on it. So I'm still on the hunt for a rug. But yeah, I'm just going to sort out the sofa cushions, clean the table, and then just spray the carpet. Moving on to the last room I'm going to clean tonight, it's the bathroom, so this has been left as it was since Isaiah's bath, so I'm just going to sort out his bath toys, put everything back and then just give everything a wipe down. So I'm just using the Dettol anti-back wipes just to wipe down his uh, bath toy holder and all the toys. I'm going to wash them and put them away and then I'm just going to get rid of the toiletries that we don't need i like to keep it very minimalistic in the bathroom so all the toiletries that we don't use or that we don't need as often i'm just going to put them away and just keep out what we use on a daily basis 
and then I'm just going to tidy up around the sink area and give that a clean and then clean the mirror. Honestly, cleaning this mirror makes such a big difference. Like I said last time, this mirror is used more as a splash bag because of how it's positioned. So it does need cleaning a lot and it gets dirty near enough every day, but just cleaning it makes the bathroom look so much more better. And there's no better feeling than waking up to a clean bathroom. So moving on to the toilet, I'm just going to give that a quick wipe down. And then I'm also going to wipe down Isaiah's toilet seat. If you're like me and you're going through potty training, I just don't like the idea of having a potty around the house. So what I did is I've got Isaiah a toilet seat to begin with and it had cars on it so I thought it would entice him into using it. But it didn't have a step ladder with it, it just you, you sort of just put it on top of the toilet seat and expected them to sit on it and he really struggled to let go. And then I read upon it and I realised they can't really um, balance and go to the toilet that well so this one is so much better it has a step to it and some handles so he holds onto them and because his feet are firmly on the step ladder we get we're making some progress so i highly recommend this if like me you don't want um, a potty around the house and i think it's actually super affordable i got this from argos and i think it was around 15 pounds so it's well worth it and i love the fact that it also matches our bathroom and it folds away for easy storage so yeah really happy with that purchase and then i'm going to finish off in the bathroom by wiping down all the chrome baits with my white vinegar spray it's not the best stunning spray but it does leave a good shine and it's not a strong scent so I'm using that and then finishing off the toilet with the blue fragranced powder form. This smells so good so I love using that near enough every night. And then I'm just putting out a new towel and spraying that with some diluted Sephora. And finally mopping the floors and that's the bathroom clean. And the last thing to do tonight is put the last load of washing out to dry and then I am done. So thank you for watching today's video. I hope you got some motivation to clean. It's certainly needed when it's dark and gloomy and cold, but it just feels so much better when everything is clean and all the tasks are ticked off. So I'm glad I got this out of the way and now I can enjoy a nice cup of mint tea and relax before hitting the bed. So. Thanks for watching guys, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know if you want further cleaning videos in the comments down below. I'll see you in my next video, bye!